All right, we're on the storm watch weather alert this noon, talking about some afternoon storms that could become severe. Mm -hmm. Like a softball game. What's going to happen with that? <laughs> oh, boy. It could get interesting. Make sure. Keep in mind, if you hear thunder, lightning already occurred. So you want to get inside okay. before these, you know, make sure these storms move out of the way, well out of the area, until you go back out. So it's going to be a downpour in some spots, damaging wind. We have a hail threat with these storms, and lightning, too. A little bit of everything thrown at us, and a tornado risk across Western Mass. Here's a live look over Boston, and it's hard to think about some strong or severe storms moving through because it's so beautiful out. But we just got an update, and I'm seeing this for the first time as is you, as is you are here. We have now widespread severe thunderstorms out across uh, the southern and western parts of the state. This includes Springfield and Hartford. Numerous severe storms to scattered across Boston. Storm Prediction Center just upgraded this to a more dangerous situation across southern and western parts of the area here. We have our first batch of rain and some thunder showers trying to push through. No lightning associated with this at this time and this starting to cloud up the Metro West locations. Boston's still dry in 75 but some of those showers are pushing our way moving to the east at about 50 to 60 miles an hour. One downpour across Worcester and that's pushing towards 495 just moving north of Framingham. Pepperell to Lowell this thunder shower trying to push across moving into Methuen at about 1234. Lawrence at about 1236. Nothing severe out of those clusters of storms but back to our West, the environment kind of starting to get a little unstable, and this is why we will be watching back to our west for a line of strong to severe storms. Hour by hour, timing that first batch of rain moving across Boston around one o'clock. Then we start to see the atmosphere refuel again, more sunshine, more instability, and this will help to trigger some of those strong and severe storms. Four o'clock, the storm stretching across southern New Hampshire all the way down to the south and west across New York, and that's where again more numerous severe thunderstorms expected. While it will be widespread across western and central Massachusetts as the line pushes towards Boston. Hopefully there's a little bit of stable air to keep these storms below severe limits, but that remains to be seen. I would prepare for some strong or severe thunderstorms this evening, and it's going to be a very dangerous commute because of those stormy conditions with the lightning, the thunder, uh, crashing thunder at times too. Six o'clock, storms move across Boston and now pivot into southeastern Massachusetts across the Cape and Islands, moving offshore as we get towards the later part of tonight. We're all done with the storms once we get into midweek, Wednesday looking dry, and then looking warm again on Thursday. But tonight, between 2 o'clock and 9 o'clock, keep an eye to the sky. Straight line wind damage will be the highest threat, as well as lightning. Large hail for us here in Boston into western Massachusetts. Once you get out towards Worcester County and the Berkshires, some elevation playing with that isolated tornado threat. It is a low risk, but that's something we'll be watching for sure. Sure. Temperatures right now warming up because of that full sun in the 70s in Boston. Dew point temperatures getting uncomfortable. We're almost in the mid 60s. High temperatures today, therefore, will be in the 80s, and this will be a prime environment for some storm activity. Overnight tonight, once the cold front and the storms move through, we're down to 54 degrees, and the humidity finally lowers. Pleasant day on Wednesday, 62, but all eyes to the sky today. The whole team were on guard, so stay tuned.